morning, good morning. Oh, it's still pretty out here. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? Travis Hofstetler here. With a didn't clean my lens. Number one tip in photography. Always make sure you clean your lens first. Whether it's your phone or a big camera. Always make sure you clean your lens first. <clears throat> Not it gets all yucky. <clears throat> but what's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a great day so far. It is Friday, August the 20th. It is 7.17 a.m. I hope you're all up early, ready to go, a big smile on your face. Um, one, because it is Friday, but I guess to a lot of people, Friday means something to me. It's another day to work. It's another day to go get it. It's another day to not be lazy. Um, it's another day that ends in why. So it's, a, it's another day. Um, that you should be giving your all. <clears throat> not resting, not waiting on the weekend, <clears throat> not ready for the weekend. My weekends run together. I try to make my whole life the weekend but work while I'm doing it. <clears throat> and you can too. Uh, I don't do that sitting around watching TV, sit around relaxing. Um, this is my relaxing. This is how I get my feel for the day of my relaxation. <clears throat> it's not uh, watching all these TV shows that are mindless, that don't have nothing good for you, that's not gonna better you or your life. Um, it's not keeping up with everything that's going on in the world. Um, I don't watch the weather. I don't watch the news. Um, quite frankly, I'm kind of clueless on what all's really going on out in the world to an extent because I care, but I don't care. If that makes sense. Um, I don't get caught up in all the drama and all the bullcrap that's going on out there. Um, that's what they want you to do. They want you to get sucked in by it. And when you get sucked in by it, you're never going to be who you were created to be. When you get sucked in by all the noise, you're going to be worried about everybody else and complaining about everybody else. It's not about money, but it is about money. Because every word that comes out of your mouth is related to money and the lack thereof. Um, not a lot of people talk about abundance, which should be talked about a lot more because just like this ocean is abundant, so can your wallet, so can your life, um, so can everything. You gotta put it in there. And you're not putting it in when you're sitting on the couch watching TV, eating Cheetos. Yeah, 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 I know the argument. Oh, but I need time to relax and detach and... Yeah, that's all. Mm. Nah, that's not good. The weekend's never long enough. Everybody always complains when the weekend's over. Oh, it went by too fast. All this, all that. Um, it's because you don't like what you're going to on Monday don't like what you're going to on Monday, if your calendar does not excite you, if you're not ready to get up and run out the door without having to drink coffee, I think coffee's a scapegoat. Um, people drink it. I don't. I get up every morning ready to go. I don't need something to boost, to boost my energy or to boost my mood. Um, I wake up ready to go every day. I don't have the stages 
of that wake up. Now, if I'm not feeling good, I might not get up early. Or if I have had some late nights um, that I haven't gotten up as early. <laughs> but when I wake up, I don't sit around and need all that. I don't think that I need something to get me going. Um, therefore, I don't take nothing to get me going. Let's go. I love life. I love people. Every chance I get to meet somebody new. I don't know. I haven't met 10 or 15 new people this morning alone from different states, from different places, all over the country. Um, and this is what I love to do. I'm a photographer. I live at the beach. I moved here for a reason. Um, because I knew that a lot of people moved down here or visited down here, one that spent money, and two from all over the country and all over the world, and that's people that is gonna know who I am. It's people that's gonna follow me, find my stuff, like my stuff, end up buying, doing photo shoots with me. Um, somebody I might can talk to and inspire and brighten their day just by meeting them, saying hey, smiling opening the door for somebody. Um, these are all choices that I make because I want to see people do good. I want to see you do good. I want to see me do good. I want to see everybody do good. And we can. We all can. Just got to start chasing those dreams. Got to start chasing those dreams. If you don't chase those dreams, you're going to sit around on that couch watching that TV and it's going to be the same different day you know the saying same old same old who likes doing the same stuff every day I do but it's always something different out here every day I don't like doing things that I don't enjoy I don't like doing things that doesn't bring life to me. I don't like doing things that doesn't make me a better person and that doesn't make me want to be a better person for others. I quit all the jobs. Um, I'm not saying quit your job and work for somebody else. Now, if you hate your job and your job's making you miserable, yeah, I recommend quitting it like now, today. Like, don't even go in. Um, but I got kids, I got this, I got that. Well, guess what? Doors close on businesses every day. Life restarts every day. Um, there's plenty of jobs out there. There's plenty of things you can do. So if you're in something that you don't like, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out, get out. Run. Or if it's something that you love to do and you're just in a bad situation or the environment's just rough, Become a leader in that environment. Become the positive influence in that environment. Become the person that people want to come into work and see. Be the person that people want to be around. <clears throat> and when you change your attitude on it, you'll change other people's attitudes on it. At first, they might be blown away. They might not know what to say, what to do. They might not like you. Um, because how can this person be so positive all the time when there's so much bad stuff going on in the world? Well, guess what? If you see bad, you look for bad, you're going to get bad. If you give bad, you're going to get bad. <laughs> if you give positivity and love and encouragement and kindness and um, inspiration, like you're always going to find good people. You're always going to run into good people. You know how many people I meet out here on this beach every day? You know how many people I meet in this town every day? You know how many good and great people there are that come here, not just here, everywhere. There's amazing people everywhere. You gotta start looking for them. You gotta start thinking differently. You gotta start waking up with a purpose, knowing that God created you for a reason. You might not be doing that reason right now, because a lot of us aren't. A lot of us are lost and trapped in the thinking that we were taught to think and what our parents taught us and what the schools taught us and not that our parents are wrong not that our parents are bad 
parents can only teach us what they know. They only want the best for us. They, all, they only want to make sure that we're safe and that we're protected. But at the same time, that hinders us. It's like a dad and mom with the kids. Usually moms get ran all the way over. The kids don't listen to them. They don't do this, they don't do that. That's because you care too much. I'm not saying that you're not supposed to care about them, you're not supposed to love them, you are. But you care so much a lot of times that you actually hurt them, you hinder them. Dads are like, go do whatever. As long as you can see them, they go. They listen too. They listen. Well, I say one to my son and he will stop dead in his tracks. He will not move. But you give him with my mom and you get him with my wife. <clears throat> oh no, he's gonna run circles around him. He's gonna run all over him. Because they allow him to. They made choices on how they handle him and how they react to him that he has been taught from a young age, since he was born, clean slate coming out, and he knows he can get away with it because they're gonna always threaten, but they're never gonna follow through. I'm gonna follow through. I'm not gonna sit there and yell mindless threats at you. I tell you I'm gonna do something and you don't do it, it's gonna be done. And he knows that, he knows that, and that's why he listens. But that's part of the problem, is the protection, the love. You wanna care about him, and that's perfectly all right. But you also gotta know when to let them figure it out themselves. You also gotta start figuring out what brings that light in their eye. You know, because um, we all have that gift, we all have a talent, but it's all suppressed by our upbringing, by our parents, our family, the schools, like I said. And it's all because of what they were taught and how they were taught. Um, my family, my mom's side and my dad's side, both grew up in poverty, both grew up not having enough. Um, I guess they had enough, but they didn't have everything they wanted. They struggled. Um, they survived. Um, they never thrived. And it's based off of how they were taught. It's based off of what they were taught to do with life, based off of, taught, based off of what they were taught a job, a good job looks like, you know, and all these things. And then my parents wanted to teach me that going to college was a good thing, this, that, and everything else. Back in the day, going to college was a good thing because you needed to have that to be able to have those good, high-paying jobs. Today's world, you don't need college. In my opinion, you don't even need nothing more than a third grade education because the school is what's damaged in your minds. The school is what's damaged our parents' minds. It's all about the scarcity. It's all about the nine to five. It's all about finding a place and if you're not this kind of person then you're not a successful person um, they label kids ADD ADHD now not only are you teaching them but you got other people that are teaching them that most times nine times out of ten actually ten times out of ten these teachers aren't getting paid enough so how can they be the best person for your kids whenever they're struggling to survive themselves because they don't get paid enough to actually live a decent life. They're always putting in, putting in, putting in, giving, 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 and they're never getting back. And they're getting treated like crap. But then they turn around and they'll treat your kids like crap because they're trying to teach 30 of them. And they can't teach all 30 of them the same way because not all 30 kids think the same way. Not all 30 kids are excited about the same things. <clears throat> and so it's not the teacher's fault either. It's the system's fault. Love you teachers, I do. Love you teachers for everything you do. Y'all wanna help people, y'all wanna help kids, y'all care. Y'all aren't cared about enough. And that's the problem. <clears throat> that's why all these businesses are shutting down. That's why nobody wants to go back to these jobs because one, they're not getting paid enough and two, they're not cared about. 
and it's gonna get worse before it gets better because until people start caring about people things are gonna always be messed up But if you're in a bad situation, you don't like your job, you don't like what you're currently going through, and I'm not talking about relationships, I'm talking about with spouses, because those can be fixed. Relationships can always be fixed. No matter what has happened, they can always be fixed. Um, but I'm talking about your job. I'm talking about what you do with your everyday life. What are you doing to make yourself a better person so you can be a better person for your spouse, for your kids? For everybody else your community your neighbors and if your life is just barely surviving it's hard for you to be the best you can be for everybody else but we all have a choice we all can change we all can do something different you have that special talent inside of you we're playing that tug of war between who we were raised to be and who we were created to be. And when you got that tug of war of trying to figure out who you are while trying to not disappoint all the people around you that raised you, that taught you, that um, told you this is how life should look versus what you feel inside and how you think that you should live your life or what you should be doing with your life it's all about the service it's all about the give a lot of great people out there that want to do and want to give to people but then whenever they can't make the money they don't know how to do it so they end up losing it all um what the heck is that i don't know if that even made sense i kind of got sidetracked Basically, we're in this tug of war of life. I'm trying to not disappoint all those who raised us. While also still trying to be ourselves. And that's where the depression, anxiety, the drug abuse, the alcohol, the whatever, that's where all that comes in. All these things come into, our, come into play whenever you're not happy with yourself. All these things come into play whenever you know that you can be better than what you are, but at the current moment, you're not doing everything you can to get to where you need to be. And it's a deadly cycle. It's a never-ending cycle. It's the one where you sit on the couch and basically slowly die and rot away while life's just passing you by while you're watching other people be stars instead of you being your own star. <clears throat> we need more people being their own stars. I love the kids. I love helping kids. But we are the ones that need help first. We're the ones that are teaching our kids. We're the ones that are raising these kids into the next generation. And if we don't figure out who we are and start becoming better people, how can our kids ever become better people? Because they're learning it from you. And if they're not learning it from you, they're learning it from somebody else. We got to do more to better ourselves. And it don't mean being, I don't, I'll be selfish. I need to make sure I'm good. Because if I'm not good mentally, can't be a good person for everybody else. I struggle with it. I struggle every day and I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I go out and I drink from time to time and I shouldn't. I shouldn't at all. Kick myself in the butt for it over and over again because it doesn't help me be a better person. It doesn't make me do better things. Um, it only makes things worse. And I guarantee it does that for everybody else too because not even get on that topic today, but alcohol is terrible for everybody, even one drink. But, and I said I said that, but I know that I do at times myself. And that's because sometimes I get down on myself 
and I want to feel better. And then I don't really feel better afterwards. Maybe for the moment, but not afterwards. But I don't know. I just want to encourage you to, to get up. Do something different, man. Do something different. Be different. Be the person you were created to be. Be the photographer. Be the painter. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. We tell our kids that all the time. But then our kids watch us not do what we put our minds to. Oh, we can't have this. Oh, we can't have that. Oh, that costs too much. All oh, this. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Oh, all these no's and all these no's and not enough people saying yes. And it's all entitlement and this and that. Let me, let me get one thing straight. The people who are entitled are the people who were taught that by the people around them. We don't just come out and think that we're entitled. It's taught. It's learned. Everything in life is learned and taught. Everything you do today is a combination of everybody else's thoughts around you and how you've seen other people react to situations. You base your decisions off of what you've seen everybody else do. And you try to make the best decision possible out of all the information that you've gathered. A lot of our decisions aren't even our decisions. They're basically other people's decisions and actions that we have watched our, our entire lives growing up. And then we try to make the most out of those decisions and try to make the best decision possible with that. But still, we're combining what we've seen everybody else do and then just applying what we think should be the best. <clears throat> when you get to realize that we're all blank slates, kids aren't bad, what we're teaching them's bad, what we're doing to them's bad, what we're doing to them is wrong, and that you're still a kid yourself, I don't care if you're 60, you're still a kid yourself because you still have not lived that life that you wanted to live and there is still regret, there is still uh, there's still a lot of things going on and if you're still here you still have time you still have time to pick it up get it together and change the world you still have time to get it all together and make a difference in lives it's never too late I don't care if you're 90 you still have time to do what you always wanted to do and become what you always wanted to become <clears throat> it's never too late you just gotta finally push through all the bull crap. You gotta finally push through all the stuff. <clears throat> most of the successful people in life, millionaires, billionaires, whatever, most of them didn't even go to school or go to college. Are they, what do they do? They think completely different than everybody else. They don't follow the crowd. They don't go and buy the house. They don't go and invest all their money in their 401ks. They don't sit at home watching TV every weekend. Oh, good one. Why does Lamborghini, uh, Lamborghini, you've never seen a Lamborghini commercial on TV, right? That's because the people that are buying them aren't sitting in front of the TV. The people that are buying them are not sitting in front of that TV watching TV all day long. <clears throat> you don't see a Bentley commercial. You don't see a Rolex commercial. You don't see these commercials on TV for all this high-end stuff. It's because the people who have high-end stuff don't sit in front of the TV all day. They don't sit on the couch and complain about why everybody else has it better than they do. They don't tell their kids that they can. They tell them they can. Figure it out. Let's make a plan. Let's figure out how we can get to here. And you can too. You're no different. Everybody puts their pants on the same. Everybody wakes up in the morning. Everybody has something to give. Everybody has something they can teach. If you're not sure what that gift is, what that talent is, teach what you've been through. Because we all go through shit, and we all go through hard times. And if you've survived those hard times, you can make somebody else's hard times better. You can make somebody else's life a little better by helping them get through something that you've already been through. Do you have divorce in your family? Have you lost a loved one? Have you done this? Have you done all these things, all these terrible things that can happen? You're still here. You still have a purpose. Help other people who are going through the same things that you've been through. That's your degree. That's your life. 
what better way? Who wants to hear a therapist talk about it? Somebody who went to school just to get a degree. Talk to people who've been through it. Be the person that's been through it that can help other people get through it. I do the photography. I moved here for a reason to prove to other people that I could start over with nothing, literally nothing but $120 in my pocket and a cell phone and become a photographer here at the beach that is actually very well known now. And I'm not tooting my horn, I'm not because I'm very humble about it and I still don't think I'm as good as what people give me credit for. Um, but I come down here to show people that no matter what, you can start over. It's gonna be okay. You can chase your dreams. You can be the person that everybody told you was too hard to be. Oh, it's too hard to do it. All oh, too many people are doing it. All this and all that. Well, guess what? Not enough people are doing it great. So you still have plenty of room to be able to take your idea or take your passion, get with somebody else who's already doing the same things, help their stuff be better, you become a big part of it, or start your own. But take care of people. Treat people good. Remember, it come, the people. The people. It's always about the people. We all want to be cared about. We all want to be loved. We don't always have to have the biggest paychecks if when we wake up in the morning we're excited to go to our job because of how they treat us, because of how they take care of us. so much to this life man and everybody's just letting it slip away and it sucks because I just watch it and I hear it through the words that they say and it's like this life is not slipping away from you like you can take control of your life you can go and get it you don't have to sit around and be a statistic like bump that man go out and make a difference People need help everywhere, and there are great people everywhere. All they need to know is that somebody cares. When you care, it changes lives. When you take the time to talk to somebody when you're passing them, it changes lives. Three second conversation, are you opening the door for somebody, can literally change their life. <coughs> But back to the kids stuff and the parents. Be careful what you do with your kids. Be careful how you talk to them. Be careful how you treat them. Because whatever you do to them is what they're going to do to others. And whatever they decide they don't like that you do, they're going to find from somebody else. Don't push them to be somebody that you want them to be. Push them to be the person that they were created to be. Find out what their gifts are. Find out what they're excited about. Find out what brings them joy. And then focus on those things. Stop working on weaknesses. Start working on your strengths. When you work on weaknesses, you sit around and you, you get confused. You're not confident. You go slow. You question yourself. But when you're confident and you're doing something that you're good at, you can fly, you can run, you can soar. Like you will, you know what I mean? You don't even have to think about it. You just do. And there's so many people out there, including myself. Everybody says I'm great. I still don't see it at times because I know that where I come from and sometimes it's that imposter syndrome. You know, who am I? Who am I to talk about stuff? Who am I to become a photographer? Who am I, you know what I mean? All this stuff because I didn't grow up with, every, with things given to me. And...